is for the Australian title as we introduce first fighting out of our red corner. He weighed in at 63.25 kilos. His fight record, four fights, four victories, four by way of knockout. He trains under Aaron Woods and Sean Riley. He fights out of Latrobe Boxing Gym in Tasmania. He is a 2012 Olympian. Please welcome Jackson Woods. In our blue corner, he weighed in 63.5 kilos. His fight record, 10 fights, nine victories and one draw. He trains under Alfie Di Carlo. He fights out of the Cobra Box Gym in Lutwich. He is two times Queensland champion. He is the Iceman, Justin Frost. Jackson, Frosty. Okay, fellas, I spoke to both in the dressing rooms. I want a good, clean fight. Check to sellers at all times. Touch gloves, good luck to both of you. Paul Tapia, referee, giving our fighters their final words before going on for this Australian title fight. Ten rounds of boxing action for the Australian super lightweight title. Well, here we go, James, our first of our three titles on the line here tonight. It's an Australian title fight between Jackson Woods and Justin Frost. I believe this will be fight of the night. You called that right from the start. I don't disagree with you. Why do you think it's going to be the fight of the night? What attracts you to this one? Well, they're both technically brilliant. They've both got very similar records in the pros. Obviously, both undefeated. Uh, and I just know the pedigree of both these fighters, mm. and I think it's just a, a match made in heaven. Jackson Woods has got that impeccable background in terms of the amateurs. The peak represented his country in the Olympic Games, uh, Commonwealth Games, World Championships. He did it all, and now as a pro, he's made quite a fist of it starting his career undefeated. Yeah, as a pro, obviously, he's had four fights, four wins, four KOs, so he's missed the perfect in the pros. Uh, he okay. has, however, had those four bouts spread over uh, four years, so... Um, obviously, inactivity is probably the only bad thing in his case, but um, he does come from Tasmania, so that's obviously part of the reason why, because of that, or the reason for the inactivity, I'm guessing. Mm. But um, he's, he's definitely he's definitely got the full package, and, and you'll see here tonight, he, he's got every punch in the book. He looks to ha he looks the taller fighter of the two in terms of reach, and we're just looking at them in the ring at the moment. He physically looks. A bigger fighter than Justin Frost. Of course, they both fit under that super lightweight limit, but just physically looking at them, he looks the bigger boxer. Which is very surprising, James, because we, he went to the Olympics in 2012 as a flyweight. Wow. So that's that's 51 kilos. So uh, there's no doubt over the years he's obviously packed on the weight to, to, to secure more fights in Australia because at that lighter weight, it is very hard to get fights. So he, uh, he, he must have been a very tall flyweight, I'll tell you that much. His opponent, the Iceman, Justin Frost, who's seen him grace this ring on a number of occasions, working his way up the ranks for this opportunity, the biggest opportunity of his career. And Nathan, I think perfect time for the biggest opportunity of his career because he's fighting in career best right, form back, right now. Yeah, well, Justin is an undefeated pro himself as well. So having his fourth fight for 2019 tonight. So he's had a very, very active year. He's already claimed the Queensland uh, State Honours and uh, obviously he's looking for his first Australian strap tonight. Uh, one thing I've got to mention, uh, Justin usually is a very technical fighter, but however, his last three wins have come by knockout. So it's evident that he's increasing his punching power and that's obviously become a priority in his training. And probably a lot, a lot got to do with that is he, he has been training alongside Liam Paro and my brother, Alfie Di Carlo, so I think that's got a massive factor, or that's been a massive factor in his improvement, potentially. No doubt about it. Um, credit to your brother Alfie, who's done a great job with Liam Parrow, as you mentioned, Justin Frost, and I think I've mentioned to you a couple of times, this this guy is one of the most, he's one of the most improved fighters 
in Australia that, that I've seen in, in this last, say, six to 12 months. You mentioned it before. One thing that uh, Justin Frost wasn't renowned for was power. He wasn't renowned for, he was always just a beautiful box, he wasn't renowned for having that power to stop opponents. That has changed dramatically, and I mean dramatically in the last 12 months. Because that's the end of round number one. Pretty good frame opening this up here. Very competitive fight we're set for. How are you seeing out at home? One round in, we're scheduled for 10. Aussie lightweight, super lightweight strap is up for grabs. You see Jackson starting off with the jab very fast once again. Just changing things up there, leading with the right hand. That was a bit unconventional. Jackson Woods, another one of those crafty fighters that if you make a mistake, he'll make you pay for it. As you see right there, that uppercut whipping up. Nice punch. Won't be phased by this big crowd here at the Eaton's Hill Hotel. Jackson Woods obviously fighting at the Olympic Games in front of uh, probably two, 3,000 people. So this won't phase him. A good combination there from Jackson Woods. Nice, Knock, nice knocking punches. the head back there. Justin Frost, as Justin Frost comes back on. Got some very unconventional shots, does Jackson Woods. Just almost lunging in with just some shots. He, he's got to watch out he doesn't cause a head clash. Work out of it. Uppercut on the way out there from Jackson Woods as Justin Frost tries to pour on the pressure. Good body work there from Justin Frost, not missing an opportunity. Overhand right, missing the mark from Jackson Woods as he pours a bit more pressure on to his opponent, Justin Frost. That uppercut's uh, a good punch for him, I think, uh, James. It is. He's, he's thrown it a lot. He's, he's found some success with it. Action picking up a bit here in round two. Work out of it. Work out of it. Get your hands free, both of you. Trying to break their hands free, try and work in close. As you see Jackson Woods trying to steer away from the punches as Justin Frost marches forward. One, two to the head, then follow to the body there by Justin Frost. He's got his opponent to the ropes. Now he's got to do something with it here. He's got to bend his knees and potentially hit him with a couple of body shots. That's in round number two. What do you make of the first two rounds? I can weave in, but uh, sometimes you walk them onto an uppercut. It's a it's a it's a useful useful tool to have in your in your punching kit. This is round number three. Justin Frost once again tries to pour on the pressure from the outset and then Jackson Wood throws three and four punches himself. Good shots here there from Justin Frost. And I think that's one of the areas when we talk about what he's improved the last whole months is his work inside, his, his body punching is something that, that has improved dramatically. It's well, become a real weapon for him. Well, he's sitting down on his shots now. He's very upright uh, in his uh, fights gone by, which obviously when you're upright, you're not creating any power. So that's probably why he has caused those three stoppage victories of late, because he is sitting down in his punches more. And you can what see there's no doubt you, this bro? round, he wants to go one place, and that's that's downstairs. Get your head out of it, Foxy. Good right hand there Beautiful from Justin right Frost. 
catching his opponent on the way out. Right. I think fatigue's going to pay a part in this because Absolutely. I think Jackson Woods, you can already see, he's starting to blow, and that's not a good sign in a 10 round fight. And I reckon it's potentially got to do with his uh, conditioning that's got to do with sparring because coming from Tasmania, there would be only a handful of fighters around his division, so it'd be so, so hard to get uh, good competitive sparring. Yeah, no, I agree with you. He's starting to look a little bit that way. It's just and, uh, and Frost is, again, if, you, if you're going to break a man down, aren't you? you're going to go to the body, and that's something that uh, that he's that he's shown a, a liking to Keep in this, this particular back, round. Watch your head in there. Let him go, let him go. Keep working there, Jackson. Both boys trying right. to get their get arms back. free so they can work, but to no avail, so Paul Tapley has to break them up. Referee Paul Tapley. Once again, a, a lot of shots thrown by J Justin Frost. Not all effective, but he's throwing them nonetheless. But he wants to be on Jackson Woods' chest. That's 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 something I think we've seen with, with this fight. He, he wants to be right here where he is now. Where Woods, the opposite, isn't he, really? He, he wants to fight, keep this fight at a distance, whereas you can see here, Frost, right. he's, uh, he's, he's, he's just got his, his eyes on one area and he wants to keep him pinned. And he wants to fight this in a phone booth and he wants to fight in close. Yeah, Justin Frost is trying to bully his opponent into a loss here. He's just uh, trying to you know, obviously muscle up and try and throw him around. And Jackson Woods is no doubt that he's fatiguing. Just looking here at uh, the, the, the career that we spoke of of Jackson Woods and the, and the rounds that he's had under his belt so far. So he's had four fights and he's, they've all ended by stoppage or, or by, by knockout anyway. So he went six with Mark Ramirez. Uh, knocking him out in the sixth. His other two fights went one round, one round, and three rounds. So he's had 11 pro rounds in total in his in his career. So uh, if, if if this one is to go into the deep waters, this is a uh, a, a big test for him. Whereas we know with Justin Frost, he's uh, he's had a he's couple of state title fights. He's, he, he knows how to go the eight rounds. So uh, he's, he's he's got that. Uh, He's, he's fought some of those longer fights already in his career. Yeah, no, no doubt. I right. mean, activity is going to be the issue for Jackson Woods. Not only has he only had four fights and, and spanning over four or five years, like you said, he's only had, you know, maybe 10, 10 rounds in those four fights, which is another issue. So Jackson Woods, you'd think if he wants to get the job done, he'll need to get it earlier than later. But you never know. Boxing's a funny game. We'll see what happens. A good uppercut there once again, but Justin Frost comes back straight on. Don't need to make up the numbers though, Woods. You can see this round he's, he's started to throw a lot more punches, so that's a that's a good thing from him. Obviously his corner's been egging him on to do that. You can see they had a good uh, chat with him in the corner. Mm, he's, he's, he started this round with a lot more intent. He's done, Joe. Uh, round four of ten, so we've still got a long way to go. But, I mean, these are good signs for Jackson Woods. He just needs to keep it up. Good jab from Justin Frost. Oh, another good uppercut there from Jackson Woods. That's definitely his best punch tonight. And you see Justin Frost just tying him up, doing the smart thing in close. Both boys seem to slow down this round, James. I don't know, it's a, it's a little bit... They started fast, but now they're starting to slow down. But as I say that, Jackson Woods comes marching forward with his own punches. Picked it up as we move across a little bit later into the round. One thing Justin Frost has always had, he's always a good, good ring craft, isn't he? He knows where he is in a ring. He knows how to use a ring. Uh, he, he's, a, he's a very, very sharp fighter. He is. He definitely is. He's got every punch in the book. As he lands a right hand to finish the round there, is it enough to steal the round? Who knows? Wait. 
Round five of ten underway as both boys once again start very fast. Justin Frost on the front foot. Jackson Woods trying to counter off those punches. Big looping left hand, missing the mark from Jackson Woods. He tries to come back on and a good body rip there from Justin Frost. Both boys have got good movement. Very good movement. Not sitting, don't leave their head in the same spot. Making it very hard for their opponent to hit him. Jackson Woods again here is forcing that pressure as he storms forward, looking to to land something of significance on, on Justin Frost and that uppercut almost finding a home there at the back end of that flurry. He's throwing them with a lot more intent right. now, Jackson Woods this round. Every he's not throwing many punches, but every punch he is throwing, he's throwing with bad intentions, trying to knock his opponent out. Good slip, right hand there from Justin Frost. Good artillery of punches from both boys. They can most of the time lead off the jab, but sometimes they throw the odd right hand lead, which catches their opponent out. Great contest worthy of the Australian Super Lightweight title. So one man will be crowned. The king of the super lightweight division in Australia here tonight. Good punches there from Justin Frost, breaking down the guard of Jackson Woods. Do you feel Frost gaining in confidence as we go along here? He's very composed. He's he's happy to pick his pick his punches, use what he wants to use when he wants to. I, I think he would be gaining in confidence, and for the reason that he's been a lot more active. So getting into these deeper rounds, he knows he can swim. But we don't know whether Jackson Woods can because he, he's had that inactivity and obviously that very small amount of sparring as we know that it's very quite difficult to get in Tasmania. It's such a country town like that. But uh, we'll see. We'll soon see. Uh, Jackson Woods did start this round a lot better, but he's starting to die off as he comes back with his own punches now. So you never know. He fights in spurts. And he could still potentially catch his opponent out. Jackson Woods looking to become an Australian champion here tonight. So this is round number six. As I mentioned before, the, the furthest Jackson Woods has been in a fight, it's been round six. He hasn't heard the end of a bell for round six in his entire career. And uh, if he gets through this round, that'll be the first time he will have been beyond six rounds in his professional career. So this is the sixth round, and at the moment, it's uh, the Iceman, Justin Frost, that uh, started this round on the front foot. He's doing a good job of controlling the distance, Justin. You can see every time his opponent takes a step forward, he takes a step back. Every time his opponent takes a step backwards, he takes a step forward. So he's, he's doing a very good job there. And that's why it's, it's probably even more pressure for Jackson Woods. Just that physical presence of Justin Frost always in front of him just sucks your energy levels down. Lovely one two there from the Iceman Justin Frost. Now he's back on that jab. See, sometimes he gets, it almost seems like he gets a bit desperate. He needs to, you know, do something in the round. So he lunges forward with a left hook or he throws a wayward right hand, Jackson Woods. What would you like to see him do differently if, if you're for the Jackson Woods fans that are watching? What do you want to see him do a bit differently? Uh, I mean, I always say you know, every punch comes off the jab. I mean, that's, that's, that's the right way of doing things. But I can understand why he is doing it the way he is because he's had some success every time he throws it. 
you know, if he throws 10, he might land five. So I understand why he's doing it. He is, he is the obviously the, the visitor here tonight. So he, he wants to make an, a, an impressive statement here tonight to get this victory. We've got a minute to box here in round number six. uppercut that's been successful for him. Big right hand there from Jackson Woods just hit the side of Justin Frost's head. Put your heads in there. 30 seconds to go in this round, round six. It's scheduled to go for 10 rounds. Every Australian title is fought over 10 by three minute rounds. Jackson Woods trying to stalk his opponent. Coming in with his hands low, trying to bait a shot out of Justin Frost so he could counter him. But to no avail, it was another good end to the round for both boys. Justin Frost, you would say stole it again though. Tapping his feet, tapping his gloves. He... And that's probably not a good thing for his energy levels because he's, he's burning up a lot of nervous energy, which he probably needs for a 10 round contest. So once again, I'll, I'll put it down to inactivity, James. I mean, he's, he hasn't been here often and uh, he, he's, it's almost like he's having his pro debut every time he fights. So he, he has a fight, then he has a year off, has a fight, has two years off. So it, it is very hard to get any momentum when you're having that long of breaks in between in, in between your fights. Right, sit back, sit back, watch your heads, guys. We're in round seven, and here he has the biggest opportunity of his professional career, a shot at the coveted prize that is the Australian title. He can take it back to Tasmania with him if he can win this one here tonight. Boy trying to tap away to the head. There was better work there from Jackson Woods. Good body shot there from Justin Frost. Right, step back. Paul Tapley breaking them both up. Both boys come in close again. Good right hand there from Justin Frost, leading with it and paying dividends. Work out of it, the both of you. Put your heads in there. I think he smells an opportunity Work here at the it. moment, Justin Frost. Yeah, the mouth's right. open from Jackson back, Woods, meaning he's struggling Frost. to breathe. You can really see he's sucking in the big ones. I think Frost senses the opportunity might be upon him here if he can land a couple of telling blows here. But Jackson Woods, to his credit, is fighting back. He's putting himself right back into this contest. And it's just the volume of punches that comes from Justin Frost. He's not a power puncher. Definitely not a power puncher. But nice he, he'll hit shot you with there. 10 shots before you can blink. As Jackson Woods, did he, Frost there did he see something here? He's Jackson just Woods landed a hurry. really nice little oh, shot there close to the ropes. And he obviously, he's hurt Justin Frost, and he is going for the finish here. He has seen he something that we have seen. He marches forward here and throwing many right, right hands. Did you see Justin Frost coming back on now, but it was a good little spurt there from Jackson Woods, hitting him, his opponent with a couple of good right hands. and. I don't know, we must have missed it. Hopefully we'll catch it on the replay here. As we can see those Olympic rings painted on the bicep of Jackson Woods, reminding everyone that he is an Olympian. He's been there before, he's been on the biggest stage. And I'm sure he'll be looking to draw on a lot of the experience he had at that level. 
to help him win this fight as we go into the last uh, three rounds, potentially eight, nine, and ten. That's all she'll write. That's all we've got left. Aussie title up for grabs. Justin starting with the jab again, trying to control that distance. Jackson trying to march him down. Justin being very patient. It's almost like Jackson's trying to bait him onto something, trying to draw something out of Justin Frost so he can counter him. But he's not he's not getting sucked into it. You can see dropping his hands. Good job there from Jackson Woods. The chopping right rip to the body from Justin Frost. Around the start and a tick away here for Jackson Woods. He needs to make his move and he needs to make it very soon. This has been a good round so far for Justin Frost in terms of he's controlled the tempo of it and he's been able to back off and give, give himself a breather there as well whilst still basically controlling the round. He's just been able to stay center ring. Uh, he's been able to keep his opponent at bay with the jab. He's been able to land a number of telling blows that, that it's going to give him enough to get the round and at the same time not have to uh, really suck into that petrol tank. Well, so far anyway, so under a minute to go and as we've seen, uh, anything can happen. See? Jackson's starting to get desperate with these shots. When he's throwing the shots, there. they're big looping shots. Like I said, trying to potentially knock his opponent out. But to no success so far. Justin's doing a really good job of getting on the defense when he's not attacking. Beautiful left hook, is it? He's nearly exclusively worked off his left hand this round, Justin Frost. Left rip to the body, uh, that left hook, uh, and that jab. The skills pay the bills, so that's the, that's the punch that sets up everything. Good round for Justin Frost. He is the, uh, the local here fighting in front of his home crowd. This is round nine. We have two rounds to go. The rounds are ticking by. Expert commentary from yourself, Nathan. What? Are, let's look. Let's break it down. The two boys here, Justin Frost. Two rounds to go. What's he need to do to, to win this Australian title? He's got to stay on his toes. He's got to. He, he's got to be a, uh, obviously a moving target for for Jackson Woods because he'll come in launching now. Well, there's no doubt he's behind the scorecard. So he'll he'll try and knock him out with a shot. So he, he's got to. He's got to stay on his toes. Keep that movement. Keep that distance. Okay, he's done a really good up. job of keeping that range all the way through. So there he's got to keep Woods. on doing that. But if you're Jackson Woods, what you've got to do is you've got to make this ugly. You've got to, you've got to start bullying Justin Frost to the corners so you, can, so you can start unleashing your power shots on him. Let's see how it unfolds. Two rounds are left. This is round number nine. Justin Iceman Frost up against Jackson Woods. Two boys undefeated in their professional careers. And one will walk away an Australian champion. Work out of it. Then go, work out of it. Work out of it, the both of you. Get your hand out of it, Fossey. Paul oh. Tapley breaking him up there. Both boys sort of coming in with the head at the same time. As we see Jackson Woods trying to pour on the pressure. You can just see it's almost like his power 
his power's gone now because of the fatigue. So he's throwing the punches, but he's just got no bite behind him, Jackson Woods. Here we see Justin Frost again going to work. Left rip. Switches up the other side. This is better from Justin Frost. Squaring up when he's got him to the ropes. Let him go, Woods. Right, step back. Both boys getting tangled up. Jackson Woods ends up on the canvas. No Tidy knockdown, up. though. Tidy up the both of you, Fox. Closing stages of round number nine. Yeah, little uppercut getting through there from Jackson Woods. Right, step back. Just the output from Justice, Justin, Justin Frost is relentless as he pours the pressure back on to try and secure this round again. That's in round number nine. We're going to the tenth and final round. He throws. He gets counted out. So Jackson Woods just has to bite down on the mouth guard here and throw him from here to Timbuktu and try and hope that one connects. Frost is uh, content. To, he's, he's not. He's not going to. He's not going to run in round ten anyway. Look, he started a strong. He's marched straight out to centre ring, and he, he's he's the one that's forcing the pressure. He might think he can do it in style. Testament to his conditioning is all night. He looks fresh ass. This is yep. round 10 of a title fight. Yeah, and he's uh, he's very well balanced right, all back. the time. That's the, the one thing I like about Justin Frost. He's always on his toes. No matter whether it's the first or the 10th round, he's on his toes. He he creeps in and out and uh, stays out of harm's way most of the time. As Jackson Woods comes marching forward, he's getting desperate here now, Jackson Woods. He needs to do something. He needs to do something let right go, now. Good turn there from Justin Frost once again, not giving his opponent much many opportunities. And for Justin Frost, he's almost saying to Jackson Woods, "Well, if you're good enough, I'm here." He's, he's not running away. He's, he's right, certainly not. Uh, he's not on the bike for, for round number ten for a, for a man that you you would think going on points would be well in front. And that's great for the future, obviously. If he wins this fight, he's going to be the Australian champion and he's going to have to defend that title. And he's going to have tougher tests than Jackson Wood, I've got to be honest. So, I mean, to, right. to obviously right. fight this one to the death and not worry oh. about, you know, just, just securing the win and thinking about his future and fighting this all the way to the death, I think that's a good a good sign for Justin Frost. We're for an exciting finish anyway, so if the crowd will, will get plenty of, of action. One minute left in our Australian title fight. Justin, the Iceman guys? Frost up against Jackson Woods. Great step back, step back. Box. And we're inside the final minute. Just 60 seconds remaining in this fight. That's Cleveland Hall. 50 seconds remaining oh, in this Australian right title there. fight. Who wants it the most? Watch your head. Is it from the blue corner, Justin Frost, or from the red corner, Jackson Woods? As we see Jackson Woods throwing leather. Right. Better moments here from Jackson Woods towards the end of this yeah, round, but it's not going to be enough. 20 seconds to go here. Justin Frost is just trying to close this one out. As we count down, we're under 10 seconds left now. Australian title fight. And what a great end to the fight that was. Both boys throwing plenty of leather. Terrific fight. We'll go to the judges' scorecards. For the fight. This one official. Somebody will be crowned the Australian super lightweight champion, and we'll know that in about 30 seconds' time or a minute's time. Well, that was a big battle. How about a round of applause for these two guys fighting for the vacant Australian title? After 10 rounds of boxing action, we go to the judges' scorecards who score this fight 
98, 93, 100, 91, and 96, 94. All for the winner by unanimous decision and the new Australian super lightweight champion in the blue corner, Justin 